There's two important Stoic philosophies that I've meditated on recently and that have really shaped my approach to studying at Oxford University with ADHD. The first is you'll never plough a field if you only turn it over in your mind. And the second is you can only plough one field at a time, so focus on your field. Now these well-known philosophies relate very well to the modern Stoic framework of trichotomy of control. The trichotomy of control is all about concerning yourself with everything that is part of your own life only. But more than that, it's about focusing only on the handful of things that you can actually influence in your life, the things you can actually control. In this video, I'm going to share the framework that I used to help me manage the workload that I can physically control at Oxford University and to not get as overwhelmed anymore by the things that I can't control. On this channel, I talk about the systems, frameworks and gadgets that help me make small marginal gains every single day at university with ADHD. Keep watching and subscribe to learn more. The Eisenhower Decision Matrix. Dwight D. Eisenhower was the 34th President of the United States of America and a general during the Second World War. He's famous for his saying, I have two kinds of problems, the urgent and the important. The urgent are not important and the important are never urgent. His words were so influential that a decision aid known as the Eisenhower Decision Matrix was developed because of his approach. The Eisenhower Decision Matrix is a cool framework that I've been applying to my university life both as a medical student student and as a PhD student at Oxford University. The Eisenhower Decision Matrix enables you to prioritize work into four categories. The tasks you need to do now, the tasks you can decide to do later, the tasks you can defer to someone else, and the tasks you don't need to be working on at all. With ADHD, it's very easy to have so many tasks to do in our day that we end up overwhelmed and focusing on things that are demanding our attention that probably don't need to be. We can work so hard but still end up not having anything to show for our efforts. This matrix works really effectively but requires you to have a review day to take control over the small things that are constantly pressing on your time. You can check out some of my other videos which really show some of the strategies I use alongside the Eisenhower matrix to establish order in my life at university. Using the Eisenhower decision matrix the right way. One separate the wheat from the chaff. When I'm faced with so many things on my to-do list and find I might become overwhelmed, the first and most important thing I do is to take a step back and look at things from a higher level perspective and characterize things as either urgent or important. I have to decide on what requires my attention now such that by doing it, everything else becomes easier or possible. These tasks are the urgent tasks that must be done now or there might be serious consequences if I don't do them. And this leaves the other tasks that are also important but can can be done later on because they don't require my attention immediately now. This is one of the significant benefits of the Eisenhower matrix. It provides a no fuss way of prioritizing work and establishing order. By compartmentalizing and finding only the things that I can control now, I'm left feeling less overwhelmed and able to actually work efficiently at university. Two, account for your time blindness. With ADHD, we can get really excited and overestimate what we can get done. Time blindness is a really big issue at university with ADHD. I find I'm a very poor judge of my fudge ratio and that's the time I think it will take me to do a task compared to how long it actually takes me to do. And because of this, I used to constantly overestimate what I could get done and place unnecessary pressure on myself, procrastinate and importantly under deliver. To use the Eisenhower matrix effectively, it's important to only set yourself a small handful of urgent and important tasks to do. It's far better to set yourself three urgent and important tasks to do now and accomplish three rather than setting yourself 10 things and only accomplish accomplishing three. It's also important to mention here how the 80-20 rule is at play in everything we do at university. It's better to focus on the minority of tasks that will generate the majority of outcomes rather than the majority of tasks that only individually generate small outcomes. Simplifying your university life into a handful of tasks you can control will help you feel less overwhelmed. Once you get your important and urgent tasks out of the way, then you'll have the motivation to get through your important but non-urgent tasks. Now, if you're anything like me, I'm highly ambitious and constantly finding new things at university to get involved with. This often leaves me with too many things in my in-tray and I lose sight of actually doing them. These are tasks that are important but not urgent that align with your university objectives and which you want to work on at some point to advance your goals. But if you're like me and these end up building up in your to-do list and becoming cold tasks, tasks that you're constantly pointing off to the next week but never actually end up doing, then it's important to make a final decision on them. The Eisenhower Matrix has helped me massively in taking control of tasks that are in my ecosystem. With tasks that are not urgent but important, there's two important considerations to enable you to do this. 
The first is having a good sieve to capture these tasks and the second is actively and consistently reviewing your in-tray to decide an action on them. A great app that I've been using is TikTik -Tik, which helps me capture ideas and new tasks that come into my ecosystem. TikTik, -Tik, unlike Todoist and some of the other to-do list apps I've used previously, integrates the Eisenhower matrix by allowing you to schedule tasks as those you'll do later won't do or delete them. What's really helped me is how TikTik -tick keeps a log of all the tasks I won't do and allows me to seamlessly defer tasks and place them under different categories in my life so I can tend to them at another point. What's also been central to doing tasks is having a review day, a zero day. There's no point in having a solid task sieve when you're not actually planning when you're intending to do things. And I found Sundays are the most important day for me with ADHD. Every Sunday I give myself deliberate time to work through my to-do list and to do, defer or delegate tasks. And to help me stay in the moment, I take each week a Sunday at a time. And by having this higher level perspective of the week to come, I find I'm really able to get on top of my cold tasks and find time to actually prioritize them or find someone else that I can delegate the task to. And this has helped me massively in feeling more in control of my life at university and has helped free up my mind from unnecessary stress. Most of the stress we feel at university or in life, I found is when we lose control over the small tasks demanding for our time and as a result we end up losing focus over the things that we can actually control. The Eisenhower decision matrix has given me a decision aid to identify tasks that I need to be working on on a day level and a week level and find the things that I can control and worry about these rather than the tasks I can't control right now. I hope you found this video helpful and learned even one thing to help you with your ADHD. If you did let me know in the comment section below what you learned and like this video and subscribe to stay up to date with the systems, frameworks and gadgets that I use to make small marginal gains every single day at university with my ADHD. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.